One feature is this shear control here. You notice that there's an extra wire, wiry dude here at the end of the arm. And if I pull it, it shears the hand. Now by default it's locked to moving on the y-axis, however you can unlock it if you want Oops. and have it move in any axis you like. And this is a very simple setup. If we go into an outliner here, we'll have to find the things that it controls. It's another lattice, basically, but unlike the ones that cause bending in the uh, arms and legs, this one doesn't require a very complex setup at all for um, for doing its. Um, its motion. It's not using a curve. So I turn on this thing and there's one more. Which is I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. So you can see that basically we have a lattice. It's parented to the um, the hangia bone so it rotates with it like so and it has a hook and let's go into a buttons window so you can see all this stuff it has a hook modifier on it and that hook is pointing to this barely visible empty over here I can make it a little bit bigger for you to see and maybe change it from plane axis to arrows so this empty here is the hook for this uh, lattice and then this empty is parented to this ham shear bone which acts as its controller. So it's a very simple setup and then on the mesh there is a modifier for this for this um, particular lattice and let's just find out where it happens and it's actually happening after the armature modification, which is important in this case. So the hand stretch modifier happens after the armature mod, and that's because the lattice is actually parented and moving with the armature. And so it's just a simple modifier, and away you go. And that that particular control can be used if you're doing a very fast motion with Man Candy, where he's pulling his arms behind him or dragging his hands across something, and you want the hand to sort of stretch to do like this kind of uh, deformation motion blur, if you will, and have the character sort of all gooey and fast, um, which is a very common effect you see in 2D animation, but also in some stylized 3D animation. And uh, that's how you can accomplish that with that control. And so that concludes the setup for the arms.